is a daily update for the collective. Twin Flame, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Partnership. I do dailies, um, I do videos for your individual union because before you go into union with your divine partner, you unify with your own divine masculine and divine feminine energies, unifying with yourself and becoming one with your higher self, becoming your higher self. But this is for the external partnership. So as we evolve and become one with our higher selves, I just like to check up on the external partnership as well. This is what the people want. Um, but if you're so much worried about the partnership instead of worried about your own unification of your higher self, that's low vibrational and you need to check yourself. So spirit, let's come together for a message for the collective. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, External Partnership. Okay. We have Quest, we have Expansion, and we have Abundance. How dope is that? So what I do is, um, wisdom on the bottom of the deck. What I like to do is pull Oracle and clarify it with Tarot. This is just something that I like to do, three cards, and, and plus the bottom of the deck energy. I don't know, it's something new that I'm trying, and it's very insightful for me. So it is death, it's what I'd like to continue doing for a while. So sometimes the message is not the actual word. Like we have quest, we have expansion and abundance and wisdom. Sounds perfect for divine masculine, divine feminine updates. But you know, it could be the it could be something else. But I'll clarify it with tarot and, and bring forth the message. This is a general reading. If you would like, if you would like a reading specific to your situation, feel free to click the link in my description and order a private reading. However, you know, sometimes you resonate with these general readings. I resonate with them a lot. Oh, am I gonna just keep getting the same? So we have quest, we have the high priestess. The hangman and the four of swords. Wow, somebody's going to be going within and to their intuition. Interesting. I have to be organized or I will have an anxiety attack. So, you know, <laughs> I have to keep my anxiety in check. But be very organized. In fact, I don't even know if I like that. Sorry. Anyway, I'm just going to clarify these cards really quickly and bring forth a message. I like to take notes, look at the numerology, if there is any numerological or gematria message. Spirit, we're clarifying expansion right now. So what I'll do is when I finish pulling these cards, I will play a quick video. When I'm playing, I'll take this one too. While I'm playing this quick video, ooh, expansion, okay, and now let's clarify abundance, yes, they're giving me more than what I asked for to pertain to, King of Pentacles and Death Cards, transformation, bottom of the deck, Page of Swords and Wisdom, and Eight of Wands likes to come out as well, so I'll take three for the bottom of the deck as well. Page of Swords, Eight of Wands, and King of Wands. All right, play. I'm gonna play this quick video. Let me take some notes on these cards, and I will be right back. With For two hundred thousand dollars so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides. They give me strategy. They help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection with spirit, to help you manifest your goals as well. If you want to manifest a new job, if you want to manifest a new car, if you want to manifest more money if you want to manifest more life a divine partner a baby whatever it is that you are yearning for allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals i'm looking for 33 people to help and if you feel like you're one of those 33 people hit the link below thank you good luck and peace 
So I just did this 22 minute video explaining these, this reading and it crashed. So here I am again and I don't know if it's going to take another 22 minutes but I feel some kind of way. Maybe it wasn't meant for that message to go out. Anyway, so the overall energy of this reading is um, wisdom, page of swords, eight of wands, and the king of wands. And as I explained in the video that I just did, <laughs> there is two storylines to this reading. The first storyline is you are bringing wisdom to the situation. So you're going to get an idea, inspiration is going to come quick like an aha moment. And it's going to help you bring resolution to your union. So this is for a union that um, maybe not right now, but maybe, what is that noise? Perhaps not right now, but in the future, in the near future, after you unify with yourself and it's time for you to unify with your partner, there could be some type of confusion. Wisdom is about, um, with the wisdom card, you see spirit right there with her. Spirit in the background leading her. Um, and I want to also show you page of swords. These are all on the same. Eight of wands and king of wands. These are all came out to clarify the wisdom card. But it's bringing patience. It's bringing this, this aha moment. It's going to bring patience, acceptance, wisdom, serenity um, to the situation and help you resolve it, help you to choose. This could be regards to you making a choice. That brings me to storyline too. I feel like this reading is the battle of the fire signs. It could be a battle between Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, whatever combination, Aries and Sagittarius, Aries and Leo, Leo and the Sagittarius. There is a battle between the fire signs, and it's going to require you to get understanding. It's going to require you to dig deep for truth in order to bring resolution to the situation, because there's only one. There is only one. One is the one, and one is not. One could be who your lower self chooses, and one could be who your higher self chooses. But they could be very close. They could be a soulmate and a divine partner. But this is about bringing wisdom into the situation and, and it being resolved. Once you get some new inspiration, once you get an idea, aha moment, some new inspiration to come in, or it could be some communication. Something comes in very quickly for you and brings you brings wisdom and acceptance and understanding to the situation. Oh, child, my hair is messing up. Another thing that I got when I was looking at this wisdom card is the serenity prayer. And I just want to read it because I believe it ties into the theme of the reading. The serenity prayer is God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Excuse me. The courage to change the things that I can and the wisdom to know the difference. So use your wisdom. This situation in your union it's going to call for you to use your wisdom. Yep, it's time. It's almost time. It could be time or almost time for you. No, like I said, not everybody is on the same timeline. But you're going to have to use your wisdom in order to make the right choice. And I'm going to save this and go on to the next. Me to my first pair. We have the quest card coupled with the high priestess the hanged man and the four of swords if you know anything about tarot these cards are saying the same thing this is about reflection this is about intuition this is about seeking truth and the quest card as well it's about seeking truth um sometimes in the darkness sometimes we don't, we don't quite see the entire picture. And in fact, when you're on a spiritual journey, when you're on any type of journey, sometimes you see the beginning and you see the vision, which is the end. But the road in between is not so clear. Um, so in those times, it may require meditation, reflection, going within to seek the truth in the darkness of the unknown. 
seeking understanding, seeking higher knowledge, seeking wisdom so that you can bring resolution to the situation or you can make a choice. Scenario one, you're going within and taking control over the situation of your partnership and making a decision to that will lead to union. Making a decision that will lead to making the right decision that leads to union with the right person. Scenario two, you're deciding between these fire signs, but it's still the same thing. You go within, you seek knowledge, you seek clarity, you seek wisdom, you seek truth, and what's best for everybody in the situation. Choosing the wrong person is not good for anybody, and it's not good for you, it's not good for them, and it's not good for the person that you didn't choose. Choosing the right person, even though it may hurt a little bit good to the person that you don't choose, um, is still good for them. Sometimes things that are good for us doesn't always feel like it is at the time, but it is. So going within and seeking this truth and insight and clarity is what will help you bring wisdom that will lead you to this aha moment, that will lead you to this communication, that will lead you to this quick aha moment that brings resolution, acceptance, and serenity. You want it to be serene. You want to bring serenity and calmness to this situation so that you won't hurt anyone or yourself. And it can help you to make the right decision. The next pair we have is Expansion, Queen of Wands, Three of Swords, Nine of Wands. First thing I want to talk about is the 39. This number keeps coming up, threes and nines, three, nine, nine, three, nine, three, three, nine. Like different combinations just keep coming up and um, what I learned today from the BibleWorld.com, BibleWorld.com, I'm sorry, Gematria, Gematria website is 39 times 93 means love and will. And it's the sum of John 1.1. 1, 1. John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was God. But 39 is also the geometrical value for the Lord is one. So this is just about being the battle of becoming one with yourself and the Lord, and the battle of becoming one with God, and the battle of becoming one with your partner, and both of you becoming one with God. Um, it's a battle. But with the expansion card, it's saying your life is changing. You're becoming one with God. You're moving away from the old way of relating to others because your mind is expanding. Your spirit is expanding. You're on a different level, different levels, different frequencies, different levels of understanding, and different levels of living. New people are entering your life. New people will enter your life. Old relationships may no longer work. But it's calling to you to reach out on people to people on the same vibrational frequency of personal upliftment as you. But also, um, with the Queen of Wands, it's also saying someone who's ready and willing to be by your side and fight and stand up for you. And that's going to bring you happiness and satisfaction and fulfillment and fertility and enjoyment fertility like what's gonna bring you joy but also with the nine of my nine of one is someone who is determined and willing to overcome obstacles with you and the three of swords just add to it yeah you may have been knocked down in the past but it's time to rise again it's time to become one with the lord um that's scenario one the battle of change the battle of being one with yourself, the battle of up, up leveling your life and letting go of things that no longer serve you and people that no longer serve you. And, you know, that may even include the person you thought was your divine partner. Perhaps they aren't on the same vibrational frequency as you. So maybe there was a mistake. Maybe they aren't your partner and it's time for new relationships to come in and new people and new ways of thinking that's going to be there for you and stand up for you and be by your side and is willing to fight for you could be somebody from the past scenario too um this is aries and sagittarius energy it could be a fire sign fighting for you against an, it could be two fire signs fighting for you and the battle is who which one is on the same vibe as you which one is on the same frequency as you which one is bringing you happiness, satisfaction, and fulfillment? Who's determined and willing to overcome obstacles to be with you? Who's going to, who may, you may have been with this person in the past and may felt knocked down or it didn't work out, but it's time to rise again. Who is that person? This is going to be hard for whoever this 
It's four. Um, this is definitely going to be a challenge. But if you seek this new insight, if you seek wisdom, if you seek, if you go within, and you meditate, and you be, you know, you make the right choice. That's all you can really do. Put yourself in a position to make the right choice. Excuse me. Then you have the Aries energy coming in. Then you have the Abundance card. And the Abundance means abundance, um, but it also means a choice. You have the Death card, and you have the King of Pentacles. Scenario one could just assume to, well, first of all, the Death card is, it says gold represents the power of, of the mind to choose. One choice is why and the other is, is foolish. So one choice is why and one is not so much. Choosing well may have required a sacrifice to gain your desires. Remember, you can always make a new choice. The King of Pentacles is Aries energy. It provides stability. It provides prosperity, growth, abundance, and a flourishing kingdom. Um, the Death is a Scorpio, but it also attunes to transformation, rebirth, regeneration, new beginnings, out with the old, in with the new. <sighs> this story is... Very, 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 very challenging because it's like it keeps telling us to let go of old, old relationships and welcome new ones. But that old relationship, the new relationship could be a new and improved version of an old one. Because you have to go within and seek insight and clarity for your particular situation. So scenario one for this last couple, it could be, you know, you choosing you making a choice i believe um it, for scenario one storyline one and storyline two with the battle of the fire signs versus just you know the battle period in this twin flame journey it's just you choosing the right person there is no other way to it it could be a scorpio and an aries that you're choosing from but it's about choosing the right person and understanding which one is wise, which one is foolish, which one is on the same vibrational frequency as you, which one is rebirth and transformation out with the old, in with the new, brings stability, prosperity, growth opportunities, and abundance, and a flourishing kingdom who can be by, by your side, equal with you, and grow into the people that you were created to be, to be one with the Lord. Who is that person? I can't imagine that you have two people that you can be that way with. Um, if you do, you're a very blessed person. But one choice is wise and one choice is foolish. This is certainly about bringing resolution because the overall energy of this reading was the wisdom, the page of swords, the king of wands. This is about, and, and the eight of wands. This is going to bring, resolution is going to come. But it's up to you to make the choice. It's up to you to choose the right person. And Spirit just says, who? First of all, Spirit says, go within. Go within. Spirit says, one is a good choice, one is not so good. So it could be really the battle of the fire signs, but it could also be the battle of the fire sign in the Scorpio. Who knows? But whatever the case, seek new insight and clarity. Go within. Be one with your highest self, one with God. Figure out what's best for you. Who's on the same vibrational frequency as you? Who's fighting for you? Who brings you satisfaction and fulfillment? Who's willing to be by your side? Who's willing to get knocked down three times and get back up? Who's willing to do that for you? Who's willing to be your equal and to be one with God? Who's in a position where they're in a higher vibrational frequency, where they are one with themselves so that they can come together and be one with you. And one plus one equals one, which is three and one. You know, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit is actually one. That's that's how it is with Adam, Eve, and God. I don't know what you believe, but it's about being one with God, both of you together. I hope this helps. Um, this is certainly two different storylines, I believe. The battle of the fire signs versus just the twin flame battle anyway. And being going with it and choosing the right person and choosing union and coming together. It's a battle period, but it's certainly a battle when you have to choose between one more, more than one person. If you like personal reading, click the link in my description. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. Peace.